officially back home. <laughs> Finally, after six weeks of being away from our beloved home in Nairobi, we are finally back. Um, so I, we spent the past six weeks, it was supposed to be four weeks in the US, but ended up being six weeks because we had to stay for an extra two weeks. Um, went for my brother's wedding, are now back, and came back to a clean house because we had it cleaned while we were away, like deep clean. But I do want to, especially because it's like in the cleanest state that it's been in, probably since we moved in. I do wanna do a really thorough disinfecting session. So uh, kind of like a sanitize, like a disinfect and sanitize session. Um, but really, I'm just so, so happy that it's like still in one piece. <laughs> and everything is still here. Um, my plants are all doing really well. I have fared really well, except for one. Excited to kind of get down and dirty and really just disinfect and sanitize the house. Um, and I think that especially because it's now, you know, a year plus into the COVID-19 uh, situation. And so even though we're vaccinated, um, even though people are starting to like go quote unquote back to normal, I do think it's important to continue to maintain these good habits that um, we started in the past year and hopefully will now just become lifelong habits of cleaning, disinfecting, sanitizing your spaces regularly to not only protect yourself from, you know, pandemics, but also just like, you know, the flu, cold. The first place that I'm going to be disinfecting is the kitchen. I'm going to be doing the countertops, the surfaces of the appliances, so like the surface of, just kind of like anything that we touch often, so like we touch this often, um, as well as the surface of the fridge, um, countertops again, and then the floor. Um, I am going to be using Clorox disinfecting bleach. Clorox is the OG in terms of disinfecting products, cleaning products. Um, I have the bleach, but I also have the disinfecting wipes, which I think is just good for like, you know, a quick wipe down. But since I'm gonna be doing a serious deep clean, I'm gonna be using the disinfecting bleach. I'm actually gonna be making a DIY uh, bleach solution. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. You do want to kind of like clean off the dirt and grime off your surfaces before you start disinfecting. Um, so I already did that this morning, earlier today, except for the toaster. I forgot to clean around the toaster, so I gotta adjust those little breadcrumbs um, over there. But um, yeah, gonna make the bleach solution, bleach solution and then I am um, gonna get started with the cleaning. Actually, before I do that, I wanna show you my plants because I'm really proud of my plants right now. And then I'm gonna start cleaning, but I'm gonna show off my plants first. One of the things I was really nervous about was whether my plants would survive and we had someone come and water them, just checking on them once a week, and they look pretty good. I mean, this is just like a deadish leaf, um, but that's good. Let me run over to the Monstera is still doing well. Right before I left, I tried to prop them up because it started to lean. This needs to be propped up a little bit more, um, but that's doing well. My Ficus Benjamina, is also doing well. A few of these, there's like a little bit of scale, so I gotta trim those off. Um, and then what's really cool is that uh, this plant, I'm totally blanking on the name right now, but I've had it for so long. Jonathan got it for me last year for Valentine's Day, so it's over a year old, and it bloomed. We totally missed it. It had definitely not bloomed when we were here, and now it bloomed and it's so beautiful. Um, and so this is just like really luscious. I'm so proud of this. This plant, this palm was not in good shape before we left, but it's just it's just really diseased. It has a lot of scale. Uh, this new leaf that's coming in already ha has scale. So this one's gotta go. That's my plant update. And now, now it's time to start cleaning. Oh wait, but there's one outside. Um, yes. Can you see the little lemon? lime tree outside it was it was dying um but before we left i gave it a really thorough trim so cut off a lot of the dead leaves and now it's doing pretty well it's just something about flowers just makes me have so much hope about like 
rejuvenation and growth. I just got really reflexive for some reason right now. Back to cleaning. I'm clearly just procrastinating because I actually hate cleaning, but we gotta do it, so let's go. You always want to wear gloves when handling bleach. So I'm gonna get my gloves on. I feel like this is the hardest part. We have our gloves on, so to make our bleach solution, we're going to want to mix one third of a cup of bleach to one gallon of water. I have my measuring cups here. This is quarter. This is a third. And a gallon is 16 cups of water, which I'm gonna eyeball. <laughs> um, and then I'll have my solution. All right, so I basically essentially filled up the bowl with water, so now I have the bleach mixed with the water. And then you're gonna to wanna to take a microfiber or a synthetic fiber cloth. Um, this is a cleaning cloth that I have that is reusable. I really like to use like sustainable cleaning things. And so I'm just gonna dip it in there, let it get nice and soak it up. And now I feel like this is the part that I was actually surprised when I was like reading how to do this properly and feeling like I actually have not been disinfecting properly my whole life because in order to truly disinfect, you actually have to let the bleach solution sit on the surface for a few minutes. And I think I just was like wiping and then continuing to wipe. Um, but you want to like wipe so that you can actually like see the solution visibly on the counter and then you let it sit for about five, six minutes. And then you rinse it again with a cloth that's dipped in clean water, like just water, no bleach solution. And that's actually what disinfects. So the you wiping right now is not what's disinfecting. It's the bleach solution like sitting on the surface for a little bit of time that actually does the disinfecting action. So I am going to essentially just go down, maybe the countertops first, and then I'm going to do the um, front of the appliances and then I am going to also kind of wipe down the handles on the cabinets. Um, just kind of like anything that we touch regularly because just we don't disinfect everything from top to bottom. Let's go. So I moved the bleached solution to the other side because I'm already done with that countertop, but you obviously don't want bleach in your food, so I actually have to move all the fruit off of the table and then I can finally clean the countertop. So I'm gonna do that quickly. Mm -hmm.
So it's almost time to kind of wipe down the counters and cabinet handles with a cloth that just has water on it to kind of like clean away the any leftover bleach. But before I do that, I actually wanna quickly disinfect um, the handles, the door handle and the some areas of the guest bathroom because you know, that's where people will come in from. So just gonna do that. Side of the door. Quickly disinfect those high touch areas. And then right here, like anywhere. Because when people come, they wash their hands and so they're touching this door handle, I don't know, with unclean hands. So definitely wanna make sure that this is nice and disinfected. If you have other parts of your house that are really high touch, um, I don't know, doorknobs, key holders, anything that especially outsiders are touching, you definitely wanna make sure that you disinfect those regularly. So now going to do a final wipe down with clean water, um, plain water, and then, and then I'll be done and get to enjoy a nicely disinfected home. Got my clean bowl of water and my fresh cloth. So I'm all done with the surfaces, but I forgot that I said I was gonna do the floors. So I'm gonna now sweep the floor. <laughs> and then I'm going to mop the floor with the bleach solution. So that's why I didn't throw it away because I was gonna use it on the floor. So I'm gonna do that. And then for real, for real, I'm gonna be done. And then I'm probably gonna sit down because now I'm tired. So I'm gonna go and wrap up while I still have a little bit of energy left. I am finally finished with my little disinfecting session. I still am waiting for the floor to dry up after um, doing the second mop with clean water, but otherwise, all in a day's work, I am now feeling a little bit more confident knowing that our home is completely disinfected, at least our kitchen um, and the front areas, so where guests touch when they arrive, all those spaces are now disinfected, which means that we are setting ourselves up for success to live a healthier life. So if you wanna disinfect your home, definitely recommend using Clorox disinfecting bleach. It's sold literally everywhere in the world. Feel free to check the link in my description box for more info. Otherwise, I will catch you out in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, bye.